Hey guys, what's up? So I've had something in my collection for like four years now and I had it listed on Etsy. I think I listed it like last summer and I listed it as a bohemian box or casket box. And so all this time I thought this was like made by Moser. See like that hand painted um, enameling. And so all this time I'm thinking it's Czechoslovakian or bohemian. And I found out tonight that it's not. And uh, it's actually, believe it or not, it's American. And it was made by Mount Washington um, or another company that bought them out later on by the name of Pearpoint. And Pearpoint, I believe, made silver plate. And they usually made the metal fittings for Mount Washington glass. So I'm like so amazed by this. It was um, really cool. Now, um, I found out the value. So it's saying estimate 600 to 900 dollars. Now this one's slightly different than mine and I'll show you it in a moment. See the handles on this one? This they had made into a biscuit jar. Mine is just a regular casket box. So let me go ahead and get it and show you guys. Stay tuned. So Mount Washington and its success its successor the Pearpoint Corporation was one of America's longest running luxury glass companies from 1837 to 1957. One that rivaled its better known contemporaries, which was known as Tiffany and Steuben. It constantly reinvented itself and reinvigorated, reinvigorated its business through creativity and texture, decoration and pattern and color, developing a variety of styles and decorating techniques which were so technically complex that a few are even practiced today. So I am so glad that I had found this. So now Mount Washington Glass Company was founded in South Boston in 1837 and moved to New Bedford, Massachusetts in 1870. In 1880, Thomas J. Pearpoint, an English silversmith was hired to run the Pearpoint Manufacturing Company, another company in New Bedford which Mount Washington's owners established to produce ornate silver plated mounts for the Mount Washington glass. In 1894, the Pearpoint Manufacturing Company absorbed Mount Washington and the company was renamed the Pearpoint Corporation in 1900, which remained the company's name until it went out of business in 1938. It was revived briefly as the Gunderson Pearpoint Glass Company but closed permanently in 1957. The company's most successful years were from 1880 in the height of the opulent Gilded Age to 1930, the end of the exuberant Roaring Twenties. So all this time, I thought this was Moser glass and Moser glass is generally this type of glass that has this hand painting. Also other companies that were known to do this were mostly European companies and uh, glass Makers such as Harak, um, Baccarat, um, La Grasse, which was a French company, Montjoy. Um, there was a lot of different European makers that were actually gilding and decorating glass like this. So this whole entire time, I thought it was European. This was American. Now, what's awfully cool is it has some kind of raffia straw inside the uh, glass lid. And it's little rosettes, which is really, really pretty. And um, then you have the brass mountain mounting on the hinged box, which is um, actually a little bit tarnished. It's oxidized, but that's like quite common for these old pieces. Now, oh my goodness, if I wouldn't have known, I mean, I had this for a very inexpensive price in my Etsy shop. Now, the value it said was six to nine hundred for the biscuit jar version. But this one's actually even more interesting because it has the raffia flowers inside. And I've never seen another box with these little straw flowers in the lid. So here I am the whole time. I had it really cheap in my Etsy shop. And so I quickly, oh my God, guys, I click, quickly ran and edited it and raised the price. Now my price is even less than probably um, half of what the value on the auction house's estimate was. But I figured I'm not going to be greedy, but... It was really a surprise to uh, find out this little uh, um, tidbit of information today. So look how pretty this is. Again, look at this raised glass. And um, on the bottom, it has a little bit of a mark. I'm going to try to show it to you guys. 
it's hard to see, but you see that? It's like numbered. That's like a model number. And then let me show it to you with it open. I don't want it to break. All right, so, I mean, I could probably, uh, I could probably uh, polish that, but I'm going to leave it alone because uh, some people like the patina. So if I'm going to list a certain thing, I try not to polish it. Some people enjoy polishing it themselves. And then the interior of the lid has like almost like a velveteen. And it has this uh, golden rope going around it, which is really, really pretty. So, yep, everyday Google. Like, I don't know, sometimes you end up on Google looking at certain things and something will pop up and you'll be like, wait, I have that. And it's really exciting. So, yep, so I learned a new thing today. Um, this is American. <laughs> it's not European. And it's worth a lot more than what, what I had for my Etsy shop. And thank God nobody bought it <laughs> because I would have noticed this um, information that I got after I would have sold it. And then I would have been very upset. So once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys all soon.